But I'm, I'm really thinking in my head, like, damn, what you want? And then when he did it, it was like a lot of controversy, but he kept, he told me like, we had never fall out though. I'm like, that's what it is then, you know? Yep. And so when I did hear the diss, I wasn't thinking that shit. I wasn't, when I heard it, I'm like, what? Like we, we done had Christmases together, all types <laughs> of our mamas together, our, like our whole family's together. Like, I'm like, okay. So I write my shit up. And when I see the numbers that they shit doing, I'm like, oh. Like you see I'm Southside reppin', yeah. big foot steppin', zone three section, this guy flow perfection. Yeah. Dating on the church like I ain't blessed they section. If we ain't talking money, I got a weak connection. That's on the hood. She said get a bag, so I get it, got it good. Don't complain about my problems, I just put it in a wood. Seen a genie the other day, she said Gee, make it good. So I wish for good health, then I wish to look if she's not lieutenant. Uh. Oh, you know what? Actually, I was gonna ask you something too. Before uh, the, it seemed like you didn't really want to talk about the OTF shit. Should we cut that out? Oh no, no, no! I'm saying like my brother. Yeah. Is you recording right now? It's recording, but this is pre dialogue, and then I'm gonna intro oh, yeah. you again. See, my brother ain't the best rapper. You know what I'm <laughs> oh, shit! You don't want so to say. I ain't it. trying to go there. I got there, you. Like, you know? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna intro you now. Okay, another episode of Live on Lake Street. We got Tarzan in the building with us today. I appreciate you joining me, man. So <clears throat> I want to get into a, a, a specific subject right off bat. And it applies to you specifically because I know that you initially, you are from Chicago. Yeah. Moved to Minnesota. How old were you when you moved here? Um, age, I know I was like in um, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Okay. Yeah. So young. So, you, I mean, yeah. so this is a yeah. conversation that we have a lot about, a, a lot of talk about people transplants from chicago coming to minnesota and something that got brought up a couple of weeks ago was that minnesota artists keep trying to do the chicago rap shit mm. i'm wondering what your thoughts on that because <laughs> you definitely Rip. your style your style is definitely that yeah really though when it come down to the styles and everything see that's what i was just having talks to a lot of my friends about too I had a whole bunch of styles as soon as I started rapping. That's why a lot of people messed with me and they was wondering like, how is he doing this in Minnesota? And we've been, like it was people that was doing it for years before me and they wasn't getting as many views as this little kid that's coming out of nowhere. But I had hella styles. I was using auto-tune and all of my friends was telling me, stop using auto-tune, more drill rap, more drill rap. Yeah. But as far as like all the Chicago flows, I be seeing a lot of people do take a lot of ways, but it don't matter what you do. It's your flow shit. Yeah. Somebody had that flow before people in Chicago did. It's always something that's, that's true. coming back. So That's true. No, that's definitely true. So do you feel like your influence and your music is Chicago? I mean, you came here early. So I mean, yeah, it's... I mean, I, ha I have some Chicago stuff in my music, like to talk about my story and stuff. But as far as me and my music, I'm... My music is really based off Minnesota. Yeah, it's based to blow up in Minnesota. It's based to put Minnesota on the map. Yep. Even though I'm from Chicago, Minnesota is my home. You know, like I love Minnesota, and that's just what you it definitely is. rep Minnesota. Yeah, I and rep it for sure. Saint man. Paul, Saint Paul, East Side, right? No, nah, West Side. West Side. <laughs> I they go love that one. Oh. <laughs> they go love that one. <laughs> so, uh, did you get a chance to see? This is good. I'm glad because we haven't had a lot of Saint Paul representatives here yet. Yeah. Um, That's why I asked. And we got more coming. We got more coming. <laughs> but, um, you know, we did the, the St. Paul Mount Rushmore. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what, what I've been meaning to talk to y'all about that. Please do. <laughs> Please do. I, when I see y'all was known now, I'm like, oh, this this must just be some 2022 shit. Because yep. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like me being on there is off back. Like, I made a whole platform for Minnesota like not just me my friends too my yeah. my friends Savage and um Sleep too they we built a different platform for Minnesota artists as far as like anything cuz you know the population is so small in the urban community like we getting damn near a million views hundreds of thousands of views and that's like Minneapolis you know what I'm saying that's probably not even 300,000 people in the population St. Paul under 100,000 people so we rapidly you know what i'm saying the stuff we did like people still trying to do that right now and yeah. even we took it for granted because we was comparing ourselves to chicago so much we thought it was small and now we really regret it because it's not easy to do yeah it's definitely not but as far as me being on there, i was salty when i didn't see it but i was like 
they want me to say something about this. They want they <laughs> this is they want all the rappers to turn up about this. So I was like, you know, I put some little like glassy faces on there with it. You know, I'm like, damn, y'all ain't have me on there, but it's all up. What about the what? So d- did you feel like any of it was right? I mean, let's just do this. Could you can you give me your St. Paul Mount Rushmore? My St. Paul like. What exactly does this Rushmore so I, it, mean? So I'll tell you what it means to me. Rushmore right. is about legacy, longevity, uh, accolades, accomplishments, um, influence. That you know what I mean, like okay, all man. all of that, the whole package, everything. Also, I mean, you got to have. I mean, I guess you don't have to have the greatest music, but you got to have music that impacts something. Well, how many people on Rushmore? Four. Cause yeah, you got it. It wasn't no black people on that, so I never remember how many people was on that. Um, it'd be for sure. I'll put myself on that. Mm-hmm. Before I even say myself, I for sure put Lexi Alize on that. Yes. Because like, man, she was gonna do something so much bigger for the city, even faster than all of us would. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't just for her, but like, just even past that, Lexi Alize for sure. Me on there for sure. And then, um, and this for St. Paul, right? Yep. Yeah, um, and then, you know I got to put Savage on there. And I'm going to put Sleep on there for sure. So that's four. That's that's really my, matter of fact, yeah, that's four right there for me. What about like Minnesota, Tech, those guys? Um, Honestly, I, I'm, I, really, I wouldn't really say too many people because like when I when I even as me coming up, I was doing music with everybody in Minnesota. I'm reaching out to people like yo, I ain't acting, you know what I'm saying. Not to even put none on nobody's name, but like I don't you to me you can't be one of the greats if you're not trying to help. You not if you if you I haven't agree. reached out or you just like not saying like you don't cost or you don't have a worth, but you gotta understand where you came from and like it's if you want kids to look up to you, it's it's kids that look up to me. It's kids I buy presents for all type of stuff that I don't, I met on Snapchat and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just the principle, not even even beyond that. Giving back to the to the music to even build a foundation, a, a background, because we don't have a hip hop background here. So I don't wanna even put I We do, it's just really whitewashed. Yeah, that's what I mean, but like as far as like the background, I mean like People really coming from here and trying to put this place on. Like, yeah. if you go to Atlanta and stuff, it's not that they got the background; it's that they keep it there and they go back and help other people there. Yeah. So that's the part I'm talking about. And then up here, it's like a lot of people just want to leave everybody behind and be the one that did it. Then be like, you know what I mean? I'm gone. But a lot of people do got the love for it. And that's what I'm saying. So a lot of these top people that I do hear about, like I, I do mess with them as far as Minnesota goes. But you feel like they don't do enough. They not, they not trying like they, they, I don't think they're I think it's only for they they camp hmm. like you know yeah it, and if it only when somebody does start it and somebody does try like I didn't did songs with hundreds of artists in Minnesota yeah and the uh, projects may not have went far enough for everybody to see it but I've got videos with like so many artists in Minnesota and this and they ain't have to pay me or no like feature and it was just off the strength of like I remember being that guy. I remember being you trying to get, because I reached out to all of these artists when I was younger, like, yo, can you do a feature with me? Yo, can you do this? And they were so big-headed, and I was like, damn. You I think, you think they were big-headed, or you think they were scared of you? I think they was just big-headed. They were just you're, trying to let you're me a know, in, like, you're hey, a little intimidating. who I am. Like, I feel like that's how it was. That's that's what, that's how I felt it to me. Like, yo, know, you just coming up in this, but I've been in this. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, And that's okay. I respect that. But what I'm saying is, can I get a feature? You know what I mean? And they'll... And it's just a lot of artists did that to me, like, um, well, I need this, I'm going to need that, I'm going to need this. I'm like, I'm 17, bro. What are you talking about? You 28 years old, 26, yeah, yeah. you know? A lot of these people, and I was, that's just the part I'm talking about. You can at least, like, try to give a motherfucker some type of lead. Ain't nobody really showing no leadership. And the people that I was talking about on the Rushmore, them the people I know show leadership. It wasn't just for, like, them or... You know what I mean? I know exactly what you're the saying. Cloud, all yeah. that. It was like, I'm going to do this. Hey, hey. I'm talking to them. They're like, hey, this little dude, I like this dude. He's trying to ask me for That's the type of conversations we'll have. It'll be more about putting back into it as we doing it. We'll laugh about doing it, but be more serious about what we can do for everybody else, though. That's the that's the big part about the people I put on the rush more. Yeah, I think that's wise, and I agree. And it's a conversation that's been – actually, it's something that I've recently had my mind changed about. 
like I understand, like you said about knowing your value, having a value, knowing your value, and if you have a price, then that's your price. But there is something to the idea of if y'all are from the same place, and neither of y'all are up here, yeah. then yeah, set that price aside and work together. Mm-hmm. I think you're right about that. I hadn't thought about, I hadn't agreed with that in the past, but like the conversations come up a lot lately, specifically like Bands Up Dip mentioned that he will do songs, he's not charging for features with artists from Minnesota. Like it's one thing if you wanna charge for a feature from an art, with an artist from Atlanta or Chicago, so yeah. that's not from where you're from, <laughs> but if y'all are in the same boat, then why are we charging each other? That's that's a setback. Literally, we stabbing each other in the back. Yeah. Like, in, in Chicago, that's what they doing. Atlanta, all these rappers blowing up because they like, hey, I got this friend right here, and he's he's my little friend. Yep. Can you do a song with him? Yeah, bring him over. So, shit, <laughs> so can you? Uh, so you could say like without without a doubt that like on the come up, like a lot of guys, the, the Chicago, these artists from Chicago that are now upper echelon. You talk about like Dirk, one of the biggest artists in the world. Mm-hmm. They were just working together, and yeah, that's how right. it happened. You see how Polo G got on because they said, "Hey, Polo G, we like you. Yeah, we're gonna do a song with you." Yeah. <laughs> hey, you see how all these dudes get on? That's how they all get on. We need more Even of that. Even when here. Herb and all of them got on, like when Dirk and Herb and Louie did a song together, you see they really it, it literally elevated them all up to yeah. a different platform. Each one of them, like. It just be like that because it's more now all our fan bases. Now other people are trying to group up with each other and think it's okay as they should. Yeah. People don't even think it's okay to group up with each other no more because that's just what, and this is Minnesota what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like like you can have your podcast and then you would be scared to group up on my podcast and just do a big ass one day show, like yep. a big ass show. Like not even just a talk show or something, but motherfuckers be so scared to work. But you look at these other places, they like, okay, boom. These comedians are in all of the, com- you know what I mean? Like, they with each other in all these other states that's really blowing up that we trying to do. Like, we not taking notes. We just trying to do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, you're right. Unity unity on that level. We've talked a lot about unity. I mean, over the, I've been doing this for seven, eight years. Yeah. And the conversation's always been unity. And I guess unity has always meant something different to me. But that is unity. Just working together, building each other up together. And that's yeah. a great point about the, you know, Dirk and Herb and them coming together and to make that, like, you see the elevation. Yeah. We can definitely why I do share that. That's everybody shit in Minnesota. People be, like, happy as hell to see it on my page. I'll be like, yeah, I did that. People be like, hey, can you share this and make it? Th- yeah. Or I'll do it right away. Yeah. Just to let them know the genuine, and like, because before they write me, they're thinking, this is Tarzan. He's not even finna share my shit. He's, and when I, they see I do, it's like, Damn, if he would do my shit, that'd get him like, damn, maybe, maybe Dirk gonna share my shit. Maybe Wayne will share my shit. They just give a motherfucking Minnesota the pride we need to have. And that's what they giving each other out there. Like, even if you're not that good, I'm gonna still give you that push to go be that good. Cause I know people that wasn't that good and they that good now. You know, like. Yeah, you can let other other people decide if they're that good too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah, Literally. I, yes. Other people. And that's the thing. Somebody else might love this shit. Yep. I got songs that didn't get played at all really on iTunes in America but overseas when I'm looking at the catalog I'm looking at these songs overseas and these people overseas are liking these songs you yeah. know? so it's like you just you never know what you're going to get out of it you just got to keep putting in yeah so one of the things that kind of uh, got you on the map here was a lot of some of this beef shit mm-hmm. I don't want to cause no problems but <laughs> no problems. but what uh what made you take that route um, was it was it was it <laughs> real shit or was it you just wanted to create some controversy no nah, now nah, this one thing i would say before we just, i'm a hundred percent real yeah real real flesh real bone real everything yep i i didn't want to do this at all my <laughs> my friends even was begging me this how this how much i ain't want to do this at all my friends gonna look at this like he did they they laughing at me like, yo, yo, um, they just dissed you. I'm like, dude, no, they didn't. I'm literally in the studio with my guy. I'm <laughs> laughing like, stop, dude, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. I'm like, dude, this like my family, man. I'm not finna diss them. We don't got a reason to diss each other. They literally laughing because this is what I've been saying for them the two years. <laughs> Bro playing the song right by me as I'm writing the song literally. And I hear my name, and I'm like, my heart got cold. Like, my stomach dropped. I was like, I'm like, man, play that shit back. Who was it that dissed you? Uh, it was uh, Lil Vo and Lil Go. Okay. 
Yeah, and mind you, these two dudes that was from my hood first, you feel yeah. me? Like, we was all cool. Yeah. And then these two dudes from my hood go over there and start dissing us. So it's like, all right, no biggie. So I'm not really trying to jump in it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even when it happened, the dude that flipped, he like, vote to him, he like, man, I'm going to flip over here because they name hoes and money. And that's the music industry. And yeah. I look at him kind of like, well, I love you. I don't really give a fuck what you is, you know. But I'm, I'm really thinking in my head, like, damn, what you on? And then when he did it, it was like a lot of controversy. But he kept, he told me like, we had never fall out though. I'm like, that's what it is, then, you know. Yeah. And so when I did hear the diss, I wasn't thinking that shit. I wasn't. When I heard, I'm like, what? Like we, we done had Christmases together, all types <laughs> of our mamas, like our whole families together. Like I'm like, okay. So I write my shit up. And when I see the numbers that they shit doing, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, hold on, that shit just did like 20, 30,000 in a so week. So you're saying on the mic right now, this was manufactured? Yes. Okay. This shit is not real. This, this shit was not real. Got it. That's why. I'm, that, so I didn't ever want to even get in it. Yep. So then when it did drop, I'm, I right, write my shit up. They did 20, 30,000 a week. I've yep. never seen the Minnesota artists do this. Yeah. I drop yeah. my shit. I look on there about five, 10 minutes later. My shit's at 15,000, 20,000. Literally, like b- before an hour. So, imagine you, at this time, they shit's, I don't know, probably at damn near 60K now. No yeah. bullshit. This, is, this shit going up rapidly. But that's off your name, though. Yeah, yeah, literally. So, them, is, them views are yours, too. Pit. Yeah. <laughs> All the way. If they ain't this me, nobody would even play that Facts. shit. You know, they in there with pictures of my baby mama, they shirt, everything. So, you know, it's really the time, me. They not really caring too much. They already got the time out of everybody else. But I'm I'm a person that they, you you wasn't going to be able to make fun of. You're not going to be able to catch me nowhere and jump me. You're not going to be able to embarrass me or nothing. And I'm going to approach you like a man, even when you really out of line. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm going to put you in your place and I'm going I'm to keep it pushing. And like... Everybody from the other side of town, they already know that about me because I grew up with them. You know what I'm saying? And the real ones know we ain't even got to get into it with each other because y'all know me. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And if we do go there, they know I'm going to really push. I'm going to push the hard line on that shit, too. Yep. So it was never like, I ain't want to beef with them, but I was never going to play about beefing either way it went. Yep. So that's just really how it went for me. As far as the rest of that shit, I ain't never want to do that. I wanted to make real music get out. I was telling, I'm talking to them about that shit during the time. Like, gee, we need to do songs. So when I did hear they dissed me, it was really like, damn. Then I dropped my shit. My shit took off right past they shit. And they like, oh, he paying for views. I'm like, shit, all right, this whatever shit. I'm damn there thinking in my head, like, all right, now, now I got it mad as hell. So I, but I'm already dropping real music before that. That's the real reason why they dissed me, because I, nobody in the city was doing numbers like I was doing, like, my shit was going rapidly, and then when the diss started, then everybody shit started going up because people want to hear what people got to say that got dissed or got that something happened to it or anything, you know. Yeah. But don't all that St. Paul beef shit. I don't care what nobody tell you. That shit is made up. Like it is. It's all well. I mean, the music scene behind it, you know. Yep. Yeah. The music part, like the Selby and East Side shit before that, that shit all real. But the shit that came after that was all to be like Chicago. Literally. And it worked? It did, kind of, but nobody got nothing out of it, really. Oh, yeah. None, but but, the, but more people died. Everybody in Minneapolis started dissing each other, too, because they like, look at this little ass city St. Paul doing it. Let's, let's start doing this shit, too. But if they would have seen us come together and rock out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, everybody still be thinking it's too late. So even, so even with the music part being manufactured, see, this is a problem. It seems like a problem specifically in hip hop is even if two artists decide like, hey, look, we're friends, but we're going to go at each other. Mm -hmm. The problem is is there's all these other minions and people that are fans that might do something real over it. Yeah. And that is a problem. That's always the problem. That's how it's been forever. That's how (laughs) that's how Biggie and Pac died. Like, that's how it happened. It wasn't that wasn't Biggie and Pac were never going to kill each other ever. That was never. You know what I mean? Like that wasn't going to happen. But. This shit happening outside of it. Mm-hmm. So you got to push the hard line. For yeah, it. that's the tough part about beef and and dissing and music is real shit can happen even if you don't mean for it to happen mm-hmm. or even if you don't plan on doing it yourself. Yeah. So what do you? Okay. So I'm curious what you think. We, there's a lot of conversation that happens about people that don't really live their raps too. Y'all got some waters in, bro. We literally just gave the last water out. 
Damn, no, it's all good. I'm sorry. No, it's no big, it's no big. <laughs> but you say people that don't live with People that rap. don't live their raps. There's a lot of issues. Uh, like, I personally have never had an issue with it because it's always been entertainment to me. Yeah, I mean, I ain't never really have an issue with it, but it, it it's a big issue about it. Yeah. Because, like, you an influencer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, shit, that's what it's really about. You know, you an influencer and you, and you portraying some shit that you don't really do. Yeah. You you gonna get somebody hurt. You gonna get you can get yourself hurt. Yep. Hurt your mama, everybody. So I don't think people should be really rapping about what they don't do. I think you should. Yeah, you can go out there and rap about what you don't got. Maybe you know what I'm saying, or maybe what you trying to do or something. But as far as you going out here saying you killing these dudes, killing those dudes, and these dudes come back and start killing you and your friends, I don't think it's no worth in that. Like you know, I, yeah. I really don't because. That's how it is with, like, that's what I was saying before, even the rap beef with us. Like, a lot of that shit, they saying they doing, they, they wasn't doing that, or none of that shit wasn't really happening. Motherfuckers wasn't sliding every day, talking about that you sliding over here or sliding. No, you wasn't. Yeah. And now every now these little kids, though, <laughs> these little kids sliding every day for real. Because they hear you Killing each that. other. Yeah, yeah, like, literally, these little kids, they the ones that's really going to do that. And they hear you and they look up to you and they don't even know your ass is not real. <laughs> yeah. I would even argue that, I mean, but then part of the problem, part of the problem you have is then people that really are living their raps. Yeah. Even them just talking about it in their music, it's, it's still much. happening. So I mean, it don't really matter whether you're living it or not. Yeah. Talking about it in the music, is that something that you carry with you? Because you talk about a lot of, I mean, shit. I mean, the shit I talk about is for real. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I live. That's that's my that's my Minnesota. Yep. Everybody got their own different Minnesota, and that that's my Minnesota. You yeah. know what I mean? The life that I live is. The parts that I hear, people people love the way I put it in music, too, because they're like, damn, a Minnesota artist can really put some shit that we know happened sure. up here. And and um, and and I'm not no rapper that's going to put no dumb shit. I'm not even going to rap about no dumb shit. Right. Like, if that shit's overly hot or, you know what I'm saying, that I'm not even, I don't know. A lot of rappers do that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, like you said, people doing it, so they getting away with it. I don't, but... Telling everybody, a lot of telling on themselves. Yeah, type you know, shit. yeah. You ain't got to tell on yourself to tell your story, your rap, or to be right. street. Like, I didn't got hella shit on to put in my songs, and it's not like I told on myself or nothing. I ain't never really say nothing. I never said, "Hey, watch out, my bro just slid over there on dude them, and right, right. watch out, Fufu be." <laughs> right. No, I ain't never do that. Yeah. But I will shout out my bros, and I will say, "Hey, listen, my hood is stomping on shit. You know, mm -hmm. we is stomping shit, but." I ain't finna go out here and do no... A lot of rappers do that, though. Don't get me wrong. It, I don't know. It, it's just not... Like you said, everybody got their own opinion. I, I don't think people should do that. No, I don't think so either. Because, shit, it's other lanes. It's a whole big-ass lane open to music that yeah. people missing because they trying to rap drill rap. It's no more little Uzi music going on. It's not really no Juice World music going on. Bobby Schmurter's gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every wave is he ain't changing. Gone. He's back. I mean, he's gone. his seems, wave is gone. You know what I'm saying? Gone. Like, the whole Bobby Schmurter, he had his own type of drill music, too. You he know did. what I'm saying? Like, the, the part I'm saying is these sections are gone in yeah, the I music. The Lil Vaughn gone. Like, it's a lot. They the People want to hear the storyteller. Who the next storyteller? Who's the next this person, that person? But everybody went so locked in on this shit that it's crazy. Because I even be thinking that shit. Like, I probably wouldn't even... I probably been on some Juice World shit, some little Uzi shit. You know what I mean? Cause that's how I was on when I was first rapping. I was rapping auto tune, turned up, all different type of shit, rapping hood shit, everything. But I I seen how fast that shit sucked me in. You know, yeah. and I be regretting that shit to this day. Like, damn, it's hella other music that I wanted to make and I couldn't make it because it is. So you think you could? I mean, you still could? No, I mean, I still could, but I mean, you still do. It's you harder to be taken serious yeah. that way. You yeah. feel me? Like it's just harder to be taken serious because of the lane that you've already carved out for yourself to yeah. switch it up like that. I mean, yeah. in a way, wouldn't you say like? I mean, Dirk kind of did it. Dirk has done it or is doing it. I mean, he just did a country song. I mean, but but Dirk is like he's an anomaly. No, nah, he he, but but it's just like that's the thing about Dirk. Like Dirk is known for singing. True. Even if it's hood shit, <laughs> you sing it. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the melody of that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if I if that was just a wave I went with, because that's the thing. I came in so versatile, mm -hmm. I never sat and waited. Like, me and my bro was just talking about that the other day. Like, 
I was rapping like shit, like the Migos flow when I was younger, and people was listening to my shit before all of this. Yeah. I'm rapping shit like how Dirt rapping that shit right now, way then. People listening to my shit, you know what I'm saying? People, I'm getting just as many views as Dirk when he was first popping, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Fuck around, slipped up, because I took that shit for granted. Mm. That just be what it be like, how, but I really rather made other music, because I see what that shit will really do for people, like, when you sit back and you hear Juice World shit, and you sit back and you hear that, Uzi shit or that um, XX Testacion yep. or whatever. I never really heard this shit, but I see what he did for his fans. Like, mm-hmm. how bad that shit hurt him when they was gone. Yeah. Like, that shit's serious. Like, I don't know. I wasn't even that big of a fan and of that him. Pain, that shit hurt me. Yeah. He was a talented kid. Yeah. Yep. They made it okay to have pain. For sure. I mean, that's Drake. Drake, yeah. Drake did that. No, I mean, he, he made but you're right. did that, but, like, in the substance of the new generation. Yeah. Our generation was from more, more so like, I don't know. Drake's like, pain is different than yeah. Dirk's pain. Yeah, like the, yeah, ni- I know like the ni- no, I'm just saying, that, yeah, the 90s baby pain is yeah. a total difference. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it wasn't never, you can't be out there having no pain. When, like, if you look back when Chief Keef and them first started rapping and shit, you couldn't be running around here no, saying, had to be tough. I don't really care if you cry. Right, you can right. walk around and say that shit right. damn near there. You, yeah. People be like, boy, what the fuck are you listening to, Uzi? Boy, what are you listening to? But when they did come, people like, oh, damn. That juice for people sinking this shit because that shit really letting the pain out of them, like real pain. You able to sing that shit like you crying. It's a, it's a different music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's pain music. Yeah. You could put pain in rap, but that shit won't hit like Juice World screaming that shit when the part of your head when you screaming your head at the same part in life at. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's a whole difference in music with that shit. He made it cool to be to be vulnerable. Yeah, you when know it, what I'm saying? When like, it necessarily wasn't cool. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, I know that's what they do. They put that that open spot right there without having to sing and be Chris Brown. Because before that's what that was for us. You had to go listen to Chris Brown and some shit like really sing your heart out. And these dudes made a different way for that shit. Yeah. No, you're right. I, and I also, for the record, I don't think it's too late for you to do that. Oh, no, I don't either. I think but I just rather not. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? I'd rather write music yeah. for other artists, though, to do it. Because mm. that's my way if I'm going with it right now. I'm do you doing, write for other artists? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, actually. Really? I'm working on some shit right now where I got artists doing, like, we, we um yeah, we, we, yeah, we working. Bro, this has been brought up so much recently. Yeah. A lot of ghostwriters out here. Didn't know that. Yeah, so... But the way we coming is gonna be there. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy. That's dope. That's very dope. Yeah. So we we talked about Dirk a little bit. You mentioned uh, that your brother is OTF. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My so, brother. Yeah, bro, freeborn. So he's an artist, or he's yeah. just loosely affiliated, or no, he's an artist. He's an artist. Okay. He, he don't really make too much music. No. He is an artist. You work. You do you have work with him? Me? Yeah. Nah. You going to? Uh, I mean, can we, you? Can we we got some shit, but it's just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we speak, got some. Speak shit. Speak your mind. It's live on Lake Street. Say whatever you want to say. No, I can't do bro like that. Look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but look, whole time for real, for real, we got shit, but bro, just not really into the music as much. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more of a artist that he is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to say bro ain't got it on the music tip. He just got a real different style. You know what I'm saying? So, we just on two different kind of um, things. Okay. Yeah. Got it. But he's working, so he's under Dirk? I mean, is it? Yeah, he OTF. He yeah. shit. Yeah, he big OTF. Big, the big chain. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He got the big charms and shit. He really from that, all of that. But, like I was saying, bro just more of a, you know, yeah. more of a chill dude. He ain't really doing too much. He got his own little shit. They got the He really more so shit. He an artist, though. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you mentioned a little bit earlier about the, the the music scene here in Minnesota, but I'm curious, like, you're, you're a veteran. You've been doing this for a while. So you've been through a lot. You've seen a lot. You've seen a lot of people come and go. What are your thoughts on the music scene here now? Does it feel like, does it feel to you like, we are getting somewhere, or yeah. yeah. I mean, I do feel like we are getting somewhere. I, I feel like we came a long way, actually, mm-hmm. yeah. really, because I was even telling some of my friends that shit. That I was like, man, um, we ain't really have none, no, no background here. Like I was saying, so I really knew, like, 
I damn near would have ha- kind of had to start taking a little break off the music for a scene because, I mean, for a second, because everything started dividing so hard and so many people went to jail that fucked with each other and it messed a lot of the scene up. But the people that really looked up to us and was really going to pay for our music this whole time, whole time, though, was the kids that was like in sixth, seventh grade, and eighth grade, and ninth grade. Because those who our real fans was, even though we thought we was attracting Minnesota, our real fans was these kids, you yeah. know? People coming up to me like, my son listening to your shit. They not, they, these older people not coming up to me like, I'm banging your shit every day. They are, certain ones are, but most of them are coming to me like, my kids love you. My kids love your music. My And nobody paid attention to that part. Like, yep. the kids is the ones really listening to this shit. For sure. The kids is the ones putting their parents on this shit. That's mm-hmm. the only reason why they know you. But I was really paying attention to a lot of that shit, and that shit divided up. So I just feel like now we got the point where people comfortable to make music in Minnesota. Like, shit, that's just what it is. Like, That's a great point, though. That we've had a hard time. It seems like artists have had a hard time finding their fan base. Yeah. Because there's been so much focus on trying to get the other artists to be your fans. Yeah. And that's really backwards. Like, it's cool to have other artists be your fan, but, like... But it's a fucked up part about it, too, because <laughs> a, lot, <laughs> a lot of my fans rap now. Mm. But that's probably because you influenced them. Yeah. Yeah. But now 50% of my fan base is gone because they want to... Because they're in their own shit. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. They, and they don't even want to act like they listened to my shit before. You know what I mean? Like, mm. until it's just, they're around me and they're like, man, I, ain't gonna lie, I used to be banking all your shit. You know what I'm saying? Say that shit publicly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It ain't even a big deal. It's cool to me however they say it. Shit, I like to even know it, but shit, I just be noticing. They give me that, I, I notice like, oh, yeah, all right, I see, I see what's going on. You yeah. don't want to really let the people know, but not knowing that shit's great for both of us. Yeah. Who are your top exposure? Who are your top four artists in St. Paul right now on the come up? Um, Not the Rushmore, the top yeah, top, four. top four on the come up. Um, St. Paul, I'm gonna go with uh, Indio Kobe. I'm gonna go with uh, and this just being realistic, right? Yeah, realistic. Um, on the come up, I'm gonna go with Indio Kobe. I'm gonna go with uh No bullshit, Lisky. Even though he's from the other side of town and shit, he putting in work. I'm seeing his name a little bit of everywhere, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna definitely have to put him up in the race too. He in the race for sure. And um uh, Honestly, man. Oh yeah, Indio Sleep and one more. It, it's not really too many people working that hard right now, but I gotta give it to. Uh, hmm. Yeah, everybody damn near in Minneapolis boys so uh, working right now. Yeah, uh, it does seem that way. Yeah, I hate so. to say it, but like it does seem that way. Yeah, I'm thinking of the rappers I even been sharing and all that shit lately is shit mostly. Well, who are you fucking with in Minneapolis? Who you like in Minneapolis? Who you think on the come up right now in there? I think Suavo. Yep. Suavo definitely got that shit. Haji definitely been had that shit, and he definitely don't get the respect he deserved mm-hmm. to get off of this shit. Because he, if you ask me, he he built the whole Minneapolis platform. Mm. The whole platform for Minneapolis to make music and be taken serious was through Haji. Because once St. Paul captured that shit, it wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had the faster wave going, you know, every different wave, all this shit. But, yeah, most definitely Haji. Um, it's this cat named, uh, his name Vinny. I've been seeing him dropping a lot of shit. He's he, um, he from Detroit, but he's been up in Minnesota for a while. Okay. He coming up here, young artist. He like 19. But, uh, yeah, Vinny and... Uh, what do you think about John Ray? Um, I, <laughs> I, I honestly, I honestly don't really know of him, but I know he like sent some shots at me a couple years back in some songs. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I, I never, I never responded to it or nothing. It, it was just like, I, people was, hella people was like just trying to tag me into it, get me to like <laughs> get involved with that shit. And I'm like, man, that's so I don't really know John Ray. I never really heard none of his music, but the songs that he done or dissed me in. And, um, 
But I've I heard good shit about it. I've heard good shit about his music though. Mm-hmm. You I got haven't a, really heard too much of it. You I, got a buzz right now. Yeah, I seen him um do a um verses or something. Yeah. I seen something going on with a little verses or something. That was probably it. Would you do a versus? Yeah. Who would be a good who'd be competition for you? Man, I'd love to see you in a versus. Uh honestly on the competition side, that's why I told him it'd probably either be somebody from like my hood down there, honestly, to be in the versus with me or Haji. Like that's that like ain't really nobody to put up to put no versus battle from me. Or like somebody like um Vo. Cause like yeah, but that's some shit people History. Love. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That like somebody like Vo, but yeah, ain't so shit. That's the only people that are really be. Oh, I'd love to see you in a versus. Yeah, on me, shit. I I love to get down in the versus too. It's just the people that they told me are just they won. Well, they reached out. Huh? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They who did. who they try to put put you up against? <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah, they trying to put me up against um. Who did they try to put me? Up? Oh, they tried to put me up against Lil Ant, I think. Lil Ant. Ant? Okay. Yeah. I think Mar and then Marmar went against him instead. Yeah, and um, they tried to put me up against somebody else. Um, I think John Ray. They were trying to put me up against him or John Ray. That's who it was at first. But um, interesting. Yeah, I, this was them there before any of them even did they shit too. I'm glad. So, I'm glad you said no. That'd have been a slaughter. Yeah. Yeah, either probably. either one of them would have been a slaughter. You know me. And and no, oh, and they tried to do Lil James too. They told me those three, but I told them like they don't really got a big enough like I'll tell you what, James is entertaining enough. Yeah, but that would have been fun. But as far as like catalog Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The catalog for Minnesota to go against me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that people will be watching the live singing these songs. Not just the battle. Yeah. You and you and James would be fun. Yeah, that that would have been cool. That, that would be fun. Cool, yeah. But, it would have been. It would. It would have been like. It would have been like. Um, it would have been. It would have still not. It would have been just like James versus J- anybody else. Damn near to me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. just because it's me wouldn't have made it any bigger. It wouldn't have been any more excitement. It's like oh, Tarzan versus Lil James. Yeah. The, the, I can only speak for myself personally. Yeah. For myself personally, I would have much rather have seen that. Yeah. Then me and Haji. Not. Mm, yes. You and James, oh, yeah. yes. So that that's something you would probably have to ask somebody else yes. about too, because everybody I know they like, like I'm not picturing just the verses and nothing. Like it's the song for song. For like, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm gonna turn the crowd up. I know Haji's gonna turn the crowd up. Yeah. I know Lil James got good music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that's just that. I know. He just he, but he's got the entertainment factor too. Like he's a he's a natural entertainer. So yeah, but people in Minnesota aren't really like. I don't know how to explain it. Like the the wave me and Haji went through and shit. Like these other rappers, like we were here, yeah, rapping the whole time. True, like, we spitting straight for Minnesota music shit. You and know, James, what I'm saying? James like, been off with Floyd. Yeah, I got you. you. Know? Yeah, I know what then you're he, saying. You know, then he <clears> come <throat> back like, okay, Minnesota's getting a music scene. Let <clears> me get back. Let me check this out real quick. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like it's not like he has a like he. It's not going like if it's fifty bitches in here. And they all from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And more of them are going to know me and Haji's music than me and Lil James. This know? is true. You know what I'm saying? More yep. of them are going to be able to turn up to, with their drinks to our shit like Yali Dael, Stem shit, or Tarzan Finito. They, it's not a, a hit. Haji, I mean, um, Lil James don't got nothing like that. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some shit that really stamped the Minnesota that people in Chicago like, what the fuck going on in Minnesota? Yeah. No, you're right. You're right, for sure. You know? you're, you're definitely right about that. Yeah, not, so, you're right. And no, don't get me wrong. I would love to see you and Haji, too. Yeah, but that's what I was saying. I'm not saying Lil James wouldn't have been <clears throat> yeah. a, a fun ass show or something great. But I'm saying me and Haji, that better. Haji shit, would, yeah, it better matchup. Been, yeah, yeah. For, and, and as far as Minnesota, yeah, that just would have been a, a better matchup all the way around. Yeah, because it was my understanding. You couldn't tell because I wasn't there, but it sounded like there was way more people in the building for John Ray than there were for Lil James. See what I'm saying? And if it would have been, if that. it was you and Haji, it would be split. All the, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And the yeah. whole building would be. Pack. Yeah. Like that's the thing. Like th- now you see what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I got you. See, yeah. he can come in with the chains and all of that <clears throat> shit and all the good, nice rapper shit, but he, you you don't really got the history from Minnesota. Yep. You no, just, you're right. 
for the for the fan base, the people that yeah. are gonna be there, the people that are gonna be viewing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because yeah, maybe more of his fan base is out of town. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't know where anybody's fan base is, but just in general, that's what I'm saying. Like the verses would be cracking, but that shit wouldn't be like me and Haji, me and Vo, yeah, me and King Savage. You know what I'm saying? Way more deeply rooted Minnesota hip hop yeah, history. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta get gotcha. somebody that really got some roots in that shit. Yeah, that would be fun for sure. That would be fun. <clears throat> so uh, you mentioned you got a project coming. Oh yeah. Yeah, the project. Tell me about this project. Um, this project is definitely finna be epic. I done um, done a re I done remade the project damn near 20, 30 times, and I ain't dropped none of them. But this one is gonna be the one I'm coming. And I'm pouring my soul out on this car revenge. I'm gonna be dropping it on February twenty second. That shit is gonna be over hot. You can get it in all platforms. You can get it in JPay. Let everybody in jail know. This shit from the go though. Okay. And I'm gonna end. I got shit, a whole bunch of shit about Minnesota, from Lake Street to Broadway to to Payne to Cesar Chavez to all that. You know what I'm saying? From the clubs, like, so people gonna know. You know, they're gonna be asking, "Where is that? Where is that at?" But they're gonna hear from my music. I I, I done landmarked a lot of Minnesota shit. That's dope. Like it ain't just for my hood or none of that shit. It's for Minnesota. That's very dope. So that's what I'm on. How do you get your music on JPEG? Um, see, you gotta go in and you gotta buy certain stores. Some store, like right, it depends on what distribution company you, you um even going through, you okay. know. And when you go in, they'll give you a hundred stores. You don't want to get washed down with the hundred stores. You want to go get washed down. I mean, the thousand stores, whatever. You want to go get washed down with the twenty stores. You gotta pay for it. Mm. Because these twenty stores are gonna have your shit on the front page, of iTunes in China, on Sunday morning to Tuesday morning. You know what I mean? It's like, <clears throat> it's more so all about what you really putting into it. You know what I mean? But all of these distribution companies have it. They got the service for it. You just, but JPay service is like two fit two hundred and fifty dollars though for the service. Mm. But it's a great service. You want it? You want? Yeah, because you can guarantee. Yeah, they ain't got you know shit else to. They ain't got shit else to do. So yeah, they're gonna listen to your shit. Yeah, and that yeah. shit's like, and they're paying way more. They'll <laughs> they'll buy your shit. You drop a you drop a me a tape them JPay for ten dollars. Your shit's going to go up no matter Oh, yeah, because it ain't streaming. They're going to buy it. Yeah. And yeah. then you drop another one. And, no, they stream, too. They oh, stream you can stream too. it, too? Yeah, okay. they stream, too. Well, they do the streams after you buy, like after the year, damn near. But, okay. Um, Because they get the year subscription. Yeah. So you still getting paid a subscription fee and all of this shit all the whole time around. And next time you drop your shit for $20, they'll pay way more for your music in jail than on the streets because hmm. they're really your fans. Yeah, they, they need, really support you. They, they like need listening that. They to your need shit that shit. In the middle, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like that might be get, that might be getting them time. getting them through some shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of my friends say that they like, bro, hella people in here know of you and they never heard your music. Huh? Hella people in here ask about you, never heard of your music. That's crazy. Everybody in jail locked up. They they haven't heard Haji shit on in the JPEG. They not hearing the people from their hood on JPEG. And you ain't seen this dude in ten years. This dude rapping about you. Yeah. This is what they want to hear. Get your shit on JPay, artists. Yeah, for real. Immediately, get your shit on JPay immediately, cause your friends that's gone, this like, father, what is this like being able to drop a mixtape in heaven? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But nobody that can get seen, and everybody that's just hearing about it, that's just hearing about the commotion. You know what I'm saying? It's like being yeah. able to drop your shit somewhere that it's millions of people. That was fuck, That you. was fucking beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful for real. I would have never thought of no shit like that. It's like dropping your album on in heaven. Yeah. Wow. For all the ones you missing for ten and twenty years that yeah. you don't see they and they and all of their friends that they met. You, yeah. know, you think they there by themselves and all they got ten, twenty friends, they like, hey, listen, go check out my cousin. Yeah. Hey, no yo, shit. listen to my cousin's song. He said he he talking about both of us laughing in this motherfucker eating chips together. That you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what people love that shit and they keep playing your shit. Now my shit has you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. 10 million streams. Now you're like, damn, where are all these other streams coming from? Oh, yeah, that's that's the jails. That's the prisons. Like, Dirk really, all these rappers that's really, <laughs> all these rappers getting paid more off prison than they are anything. I didn't know this. Hell, yeah. A lot of artists out there that are watching this probably didn't know it either. Hell, yeah. So you're, you're putting, they you're getting paid more off them regular white tees than any Walmart store we got these motherfuckers in, too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? No shit. They're getting paid more off everything. Yeah. And the people wow. gonna buy it. There's nothing to do but buy something in there. That's a great point. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm tap in with the prisons. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you got features on the project? Uh, I really don't want to say nothing about the project until it drops. That's cool. Honestly, because 
already got my mind made. What did you say the date was what? February 22nd. February 22nd. 22nd. Okay. Yeah, it's 22, 22, all the way. That's right. we're going. It's, called, it's called Revenge. Dropping yeah. everywhere February 22nd. Everywhere. Any, Even in jail. Even in jail. <laughs> you got any closing, any closing thoughts? Look into this camera and tell them any, any final thoughts, anything else you want to promote? Um, yeah, man. Get you an interview live on Lake Street <laughs> immediately. That's Facts. all I really got to say right now, man. And Minnesota artists, please tap in with each other, man. Stop being scared, and I'm willing to work with every Minnesota artist. I don't care where you're from, what you've been through, what you've done. I'm trying to work. And that go to all the producers, everything in Minnesota. I'm down to work with all of y'all. We, we just won. That's all it is. That's beautiful. Where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me at Dust Tarzan on them on all platforms from Snapchat to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Marcus Hayes, but I'm going to switch that to Dust Tarzan soon too. But yeah, man. T A R X A N. T A R X for the people. Mm. Yeah, yeah. X for the people, then that, yeah. Perfect. I appreciate your time, man. This is fun. Yeah. It's a good conversation. I learned some shit today. Most definitely. So man. hopefully they did too. I'm glad I brought the knowledge in. Yeah, for sure, man. I appreciate it. Cool. Another episode of Live on Lake Street. I'm Jake Faircloth. Follow me everywhere at Jake Faircloth. One. Yeah. Damn, what it? In high school, I let it blam. What it? I wasn't playing. What it? I'm coming straight out the south. Hey, genius, best watch your mouth. When I pulled up on PNB Rock, right, that ain't even come out. You moving ounces, I just moved a hundred things in a drought. You will want the south side outside the fence of your house. You talking all that, then then wanna come talk it out. If you ain't talking money, f you talking. About Weeks on it, this is older, what? Sometimes, I mean, we, we're off the old shit now. Yeah, we, were, yeah, we, were on, we were on some old shit, though. Like, we released, we just released, like, three weeks ago, the first two interviews we ever did. Oh, yeah. And they sat for, like, a month and a half. Oh, yeah. Because we were trying to figure out our release shit. Originally, it was going to be once a week, then we were going to go every other day, and we were like, you know what? Take off. We're dropping every day. <laughs> this yeah. is the breakfast. This is the breakfast club. That's how I see. I was about to say. That's how I see y'all really because I be like, damn. Every I be seeing so many people and I'm like, and I'm seeing it like every day. I'm like, damn. So that's dope to this hear. Shit, yeah, that's great to hear this that. Shit taking off. Yeah, that's dope to hear that. I definitely. I be asking my buddies. I'm y'all heard live on Lake Street for like a whole week. Oh, boy, they got, I got an interview live on Lake Street because <laughs> I see so many people and I'm like. Yo, they like, oh, y'all heard of them? Oh, you on there? I'm, yeah, bro, I'm on there. <laughs> that's dope. That's great. That, yeah. this, I, that's the shit I want to hear. Because, yeah. bro, I know people are talking. But we, don't get to hear the, we don't get to hear what they're saying. Yeah, they talking. So I know they're they talking. Because talking, I'm talking to other motherfuckers about it for sure, too. That's dope. Okay, we're rocking. We live? Okay, another episode of Live on Lake Street. I